presented himself as a flag bearer for growth. But one year on, Francois Hollande is facing mounting opposition from anti-austerity protesters, disappointed by his failure to deliver on his promises to rein in finance. One year ago, they celebrated his presidential victory with enthusiasm. One year on, the mood is one of disappointment. Today, all of Hollande's policies are completely out of sync with the promises he made. He lied both to the population and left-wing voters. All his attacks against big capital during his speech at Bourget have been emptied of their substance. Protesters took to the streets of Paris at the call of Left Front party leader Jean-Luc Mélenchon. The forefronter up in last year's presidential election organized the march to clean up French politics. He's accused the socialist government of betraying the left. Our dear president has implemented everything that Sarkozy wanted. So it's true that it's a real letdown for us because we voted for him. And today, it's not at all what we expected. Today, everything is about money and wealth, but people should come first. Labor market reforms and subsidized youth job schemes have not cut unemployment, which stands at a record high. 3.2 million people are now looking for work. As young people, we're the first to be affected by austerity. Government spending in public services will be felt in education and in teaching. What we want is a permanent work contract for young people. This is the only contract that will tackle job insecurity. Growth is expected to be lower than predicted, and as a result of its failing economy, France has been given two more years to cut its deficit. Le sentiment, uh... The general feeling is that too much attention has been focused on reducing the deficit. But like in other countries, too much spending cuts lead to a rapid slowdown in growth, which in turn creates less tax revenues and therefore increases the government deficit. Government action has been obscured by backpedaling on a popular measure to tax millionaires 75 percent and a shaming tax scandal by Holland's ex-budget minister Jérôme Kauzak, who avoided paying tax. With factory closures set to continue, including beleaguered car makers, at a time the country's biggest job providers, there's a feeling among many that Francois Hollande has turned his back on them. Francois Hollande's first year in office has been marked by high unemployment and low ratings. Despite the success of his military campaign in Mali, many feel he's not lived up to the urgency of France's economic problems. They're calling for change now, not in five years. This is Christina Rokello for JN1 in Paris.